Hi you guys, it's Shelly and today I'm going to take you on a tour of my living room for spring 2020. If you're new to my channel, I certainly hope that you've already hit that subscribe button and clicked on the notification bell so that you can be notified each time a new video is uploaded. Now let's get started. I have to be honest, you guys, styling coffee tables happens to be my favorite. I really feel like they tell a lot about your personality. Vignettes are my favorite to do. I like to corral a few of my favorite things on a coffee table to show a little bit about the season. Here you see a beautiful glass teal egg I purchased from TJ Maxx. I wanted hints of Easter to be displayed on my coffee table, but not overdoing it. The metal ring you see behind the Easter egg was purchased from the at-home store. The ring was black when I purchased it, but I had to put some silver flare on it, so I taped down the base to protect it, and I sprayed it with a two coats of metallic silver spray. If you haven't guessed what my signature color is yet, I think you'll catch on. This beautiful mirrored tray actually came out of the bathroom section of TJ Maxx. I used it to corral coasters that I got from I purchased this beautiful Ross. bedazzled stand from TJ Maxx as well. I've seen it in a lot of kitchens, but I had something else in mind for it. This beautiful hammered vase came from Ross as well. Can you believe I made that chain out of Christmas tree ornaments? Yeah, you heard me, Christmas tree ornaments. They made the perfect touch for my vase. These beautiful silver foam flowers came from TJ Maxx. They came in a bundle of three. These beautiful tall silver stems were purchased from Kirkland's. Two stems were used to create this look. This beautiful suede couch was purchased from Value City Furniture. I didn't like the pillows that came with it, so I decided to put my own personality into it. The teal pillow in the center came from the at-home store. The two pillows that are on the ends of the sofa came from my favorite store and probably your favorite store too, Home Goods. Guess what, you guys? These pillows are the most well-made pillows I've ever owned. They're worth every penny you pay for them. When you find a well-made pillow, buy it. No sofa is complete without a soft, luxurious throw. But it doesn't have to cost a lot. I got this beautiful throw from Burlington for $12.99. It's the perfect touch to my sofa. Because I have such a tall and long wall in my living room, I have to make good use of that space. I started by leaning a very tall mirror against the wall. Hi everybody, Shelly. I added another throw in Ottoman right beside the mirror. On top, I adorned it with a DIY pillow I did last year. I decided to add my own bling to my pillow. I decided to display two simple vignettes on my white IKEA console. Simple but elegant is all I can say about this vignette. I purchased this very unique vase from at home store. I love the striped detail on the vase and the slender neck. Inside the vase, I placed a single floral stem purchased from Hobby Lobby. The white ginger jar did not come that color, you guys. I purchased it from Ross and spray painted it white using a high gloss spray paint purchased from Walmart. I have to admit it, I do love all things sparkle. This beautiful P3 
picture frame was purchased from Burlington. If you want bling on a dime, Burlington is the place to go. Behind it, you will see a matching piece for the vase that is in the first vignette. It too has a very slender neck and is adorned with one floral stem, again purchased from Hobby Lobby. This sculpture was originally black. I decided to tape off that acrylic base and spray paint it using a can of metallic spray paint purchased from Walmart. I placed this sculpture on top of two decorative boxes that I purchased from Burlington. What I love about these two boxes is one, the fact that they are different sizes, and two, the silver trimming that's on top. If you're interested in a console similar to this one, I purchased this from Ikea. It is called the Besta. Originally, I had three white doors. But later I decided to swap out one of the doors in the middle and add glass shelving, all of which came from Ikea's store. To finish off my feature wall, I decided to add these beautiful mirrors I purchased from Home Goods. For a fuller look, I decided to go with two mirrors. Don't forget to show the corners of your room some love. I decided to purchase two of these tall lamps to place on mirrored chrome end tables on both sides of my fireplace. I adorned this end table with a simple white flower in a silver vase. The beautiful beaded pillow came from Burlington. I decided to purchase two, the chairs from TJ Maxx. This gorgeous silver basket was purchased from TJ Maxx. Inside it, I placed two pillows I purchased from Burlington that I decided to add some bling wrap to. Last but certainly not least, I placed this soft, fluffy pom-pom blanket I purchased from Kirkland's this winter. I plan to swap it out for a blanket that reflects more of the spring summer vibe. I knew that orchids had to be a part of my spring decor, but after researching them, they were simply just too much money to buy already assembled. The faux pearl succulent plants were purchased from Amazon. I decided to purchase two silver boat shaped vase from Burlington. They were only $16.99. The big leaf stems and the bamboo sticks were purchased from Michaels. The orchids were purchased from Pier 1. It's best to go with odd numbers when you're doing floral arrangements such as this. I purchased the large mirror from Ross. Can you believe these beautiful curtains were purchased from eBay? I decided to hang these curtains on a short rod purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond. I love that these curtains offer in lots of sunlight. I also love that these beautiful curtains came in a set of two for only $15. Not to mention that these curtains are embroidered with silver stitching. Did I mention that these curtains also allow me to have a beautiful view of the golf course? By now you can see that I have a curtain dilemma. No worries you guys, I have a solution to the problem. 
I decided to purchase another set of these curtains. When they arrive, I will cut the curtains to add length to the curtains that are hanging. I am so happy that I only have to do this for the dining room curtains. Their curtains in the living room are perfect. Have you guys noticed yet the difference between the color of the dining room and the living room wall? I know you figured it out. One wall has brown tones and that will be the living room. But the dining room has gray tones. Guess what you guys, I have been painting. The reality of the matter is, my husband and I simply cannot paint these tall walls. And when I say tall, I mean tall. So we'll just have to chuck it up to letting someone else paint it. We use the color Unique Gray from Sherman Williams to paint the dining room and other areas of the home. I certainly hope that you guys have enjoyed our time together and that you have learned something from me or been inspired by something you've seen in my spring living room 2020 tour that you can incorporate in your home. If you have any questions about what you've seen in the video, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed something in particular about this video, I'd love to hear about that too. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to become a Principal Decor family member, and hit that notification bell so you are notified the next time I upload a video. Thank you, be well, be blessed, be safe, and stay home.